Hello, this is Tyler with TGX Survival. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about techniques that you can use with your knife. Some safety and just a couple prying techniques that give you more leverage with your knife to, while keeping you from cutting your fingers open. Like I did right there. Alright, so stay tuned. <music> Some of the stuff that I like to use, or one of the main things in my wheelhouse I use is the chest lever. Now you can use this with any size knife. I have this nice small one. Essentially what you do is take the blade and face it away from you. Put that on your chest. Take the other stick, put it on your chest. Pull your shoulder blades apart. Okay. What this does is it gives you a nice ability to dig deep and make solid cuts. Okay. There's a mink running around behind me. There he goes. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so that chest lever technique, again, it gives you the ability to get nice, dig deep in, and uh, to make three cut tips. The reason why you want to make a three cut tip is you go one, two, three, and then it's more capable of hitting in the dirt when you're making uh, ten, ten stakes. Like I said earlier, too, doesn't matter the size of your knife, it'll still cut this way. So I put it up there nice and close. And this parang, you're going to use fine woodwork, chopping, and skinning. Chopping and skinning. So there's three parts to that blade. So, like I said, the one that I like the most is that, that, that cantilever or that chest lever one. Another one I like is just your average cutaway from the body. But I don't often do this and throw my blade out. I like to start it and then chop the tip off. And I'll use that to make a nice, flat, smooth type of edge. Okay? Once I get it nice and smooth. That way, if you, got, if you want to make some sort of like solid angle, maybe you're making a tip for a, a Paiute deadfall. Then you can just chop that right off. Okay? And the, the technique I'm using and not even thinking about showing is this. Put the knife right there so that I won't close my thumb on it and I push it, push it past it, okay? That gives me fine carving abilities for the tip of the knife. Okay, another technique that I like to show is to make notches. Okay, when I'm notching something, basically I, I either want a straight line and then a, a, a divot for a pipe deadfall or some other type of trap, and I want an exact cut. So what I'll do is I'll put it exactly where I want it, Usually I do this down on the dirt. I'm trying to do, up, do this up on the edge where I can show you guys. And then I'll cut down straight. And then I'll cut at an angle. I'll start with a sharp spot and then cut at an angle until I can carve out that little piece. And then essentially what's going to happen is once I have that nice straight spot, I'll carve, rocking nice and slowly, until I can get to that angle. And then if this is too dry of a stick, I'll tap it with that batoning stick, but this is fairly green. Now the other thing too, if I've got a slope here and I want to kind of even it out, I'll just cut just that slope. And then I can kind of shape it depending upon how it is that I want to form my piece. Another one that I like to do is the cross cut. And what that does is it leaves a little knob or a little hook for when you're hanging up um, pans or when you're making a little sensitive part for a trap. That's an important cut as well. So I'll just cut it like an X.
and then I'll just take those chunks of X out like that okay and then as I cut deeper and lower this a little bit that gives me that little tip or that little knob that I need to hang something on I'll continue to cut it down deeper until I'm about halfway through. I don't want to go past halfway through, otherwise I'm taking the heartwood out. But then once I've done that, clean it up a little bit, I just do a nice fine cut right there, push it to the back, and slide it out. And that little tip I can use to hang this stick with for uh, either, either to hang a pot or to uh, set up a trap or any of those type of things. What I'm going to show you is just a straight piece. Okay? It seems simple, but there's actually a little bit of technique to it. Essentially what I'll do for this straight piece is I'll use that chest lever technique. I point the knife towards myself, put it on my chest. And I will create flat surfaces on both sides. And this is a very key cut to making a Paiute deadfall trap or a figure four or any other ones that have that straight angle in it. Once I've got a nice straight angle to it, like this, then I'll just cut it straight like this. And that gives me that nice square tip that I need to balance things on. All right, this has been a really quick tip video on how to make a couple of different types of notches, a little bit of safety and cutting your blade away from you, and some techniques to generate power without flinging blades across and cutting people. If it's been any kind of valuable to you, please hit my subscribe button, and thank you for watching T-Jack Survival. Mm -hmm.